cost $200 million and is several years behind schedule. The name of Bird Stadium at the University of Maryland has changed and it now shows. The sign was removed from the football stadium this morning. Last week, the school's Board of Regents voted to change the name from Harry C. Bird Stadium to just Maryland Stadium. It's because Bird, a former university president, was considered a racist and segregationist. Current President Wallace Lowe suggested the name change after receiving input from a group of staff members and students. The board also put a five-year moratorium on naming buildings after people. In other news, a smooth flight ended with some pretty scary moments for passengers on board a Southwest flight that was going from Houston to Nashville last night. Now, the full flight swerved off the taxiway and into the grass after landing. While none of the 138 passengers and crew were seriously hurt, several suffered minor cuts and even bruises. The emergency thing, lights went on. Uh, the um, flight attendants told us, you know, down, down, down. Uh, and then uh, as soon as things calmed down, they opened the uh, door by the, uh, 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 the front door and we slid out uh, one by one. Oh, scary stuff there. Well, early this morning, the plane was lifted out of the ditch by a crane and moved to another part of that airport. Federal investigators are now investigating. And a uh, real life Grinch caught on camera. You've got to see the security video from a home in San Antonio showing a man stealing Christmas decorations. Come on. This video shows the man loading these Star Wars themed decorations into the back of his car right there. The theft comes a week after someone stole a neighbor's decorations as well. Hmm. Well, in Utah, a man put a recent two foot snowfall to uh, good use, you could say. With the help of his kids, J.R. Royce made a giant Darth Vader in the front of his home. Once the sculpture was finished, Royce spray painted it black. People are taking photos of the creation and posting them online with the hashtag SnowVader. Kind of like Darth Vader, in a way, you yeah. could say. That's pretty cool. The guy's got some talent. And he did all that with two, what, two feet of snow? Well, something like that. Well, that's plenty of snow with that. <laughs> There's plenty to scoop up. Uh, in yeah, I guess yep. you could say so. Pretty high, though. No snow in our forecast here. <sighs> I, uh, I can't say I'm too sad about that, well, Doug. Um, it's going to get a bit chillier here as we head through Friday and into okay. the weekend, but uh, everything's still indicating next week, another major warm up. We could be close to 70 degrees here by Christmas Day. <laughs> Crazy, huh? <laughs> Let's uh, give you time lapse. We'll go out to Loudoun County, Aldi, this John Champ High School, and take a look since sunrise. Beautiful uh, colors early on this morning in the sky, and now some sunshine and some clouds, but the uh, sunshine, it's it's going to be a losing battle sunshine wise because plenty of clouds are going to stream into the area from the south and west later today in advance of a cold front that'll give us a fair amount of rain here tomorrow. But at this moment, 56 degrees in Springfield now, 54 in Ashburn, Dale City at 55, 53 degrees in Anacostia and the campus of Gallaudet University, 53 in Oxon Hill. And temperatures through most of the mid Atlantic very comfortable, still hanging on some warm numbers. Hatteras right now, Hatteras Village. Uh, on the Outer Banks, 68 degrees, 65 in Charlotte, 58 degrees in Raleigh. But look to the west, not a whole lot cooler, is it? 51 in Columbus, 55 in Charleston, so plenty of warm air. But the air does get a bit colder behind this front. This is a real-time cold front, and there will be a kind of a push of a colder air behind it, not sub-freezing, bitterly cold stuff, but, you know, highs and low to mid-40s for the weekend, so that's a definite chill. But once that air mass moves out, we'll start to pick up southerly winds again, and that'll start this big-time warming trend again next week that'll last through Christmas Eve and Christmas Day at least. So in our future cast, see the clouds coming in, the rain moves in by early tomorrow morning. I think we'll have some light rain across the air for the morning rush, but through midday in the afternoon, the heaviest rains will uh, kind of move through the area from southwest to northeast. Timing wise, this is what this model says by 6 p.m. It should just be about ready to move out. So we're thinking more towards 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. We should be finished with the rain, clearing skies, then gusty winds move in. As far as how much rain by the time it all comes to an end, we're pretty much looking at areas um, through noon on Friday under a half inch, but some models are putting it close to an inch of rain. Any way you cut it, we're going to have rain at times tomorrow, but then we do have a little stretch here of drier, cooler, breezier weather by Friday. We'll hit 48. Only 44 with some breezes and sunshine on Saturday. Sunday, up to 48 degrees in the sunshine, and then the warming trend comes in. In fact, the showers you see on Monday are associated with a warm front that will come through 60 by Tuesday, and then right through the 60s to near 70 by Christmas Eve and Christmas Day.